Anchor rams into yacht off Shetland in first such incident in northern waters. Here's a summary of the article. A yacht in the North Sea off Shetland was repeatedly rammed by an orca on Monday, in a concerning development following previous interactions between the cetaceans and vessels in the Strait of Gibraltar and Portugal. He was fishing for mackerel, with a single line off the back of the boat, when the orca suddenly appeared in the clear water, and hit the stern of the seven-ton boat. The orca stayed behind the boat, looking for the keel. Then he disappeared, but came back at fast speed, twice or thrice, and circled a bit. Maybe he just wanted to play. This is the same behavior that has been seen in the Iberian orca population, but it is the first time it has been known to happen in northern waters. Highly social cetaceans, orcas use complex vocalizations to communicate and to hunt for food, from small fish to blue whales. Dr. Alfredo Lopez, of the Grupo de Trabajo Orca Atlantica in Portugal, said, We know that many boats use fishing lines from the stern to fish and it is a motivation for orcas, they come to examine them. Dr. Connor Ryan, a scientific advisor to the Hebridean Whale and Dolphin Trust, who has studied orca pods off the Scottish coast, said, I'd be reluctant to say it cannot be learned from. This post received a score of 37,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This is new behavior that is now spreading. Others are learning and they are copying it, for reasons unknown. It doesn't grant them any benefit. No food, no extra safety. I think originally the theory was there were just two orcas attacking in a limited area. Now we have the same behavior on the other end of the planet. Apparently in the 80s a group of orca females started carrying around dead salmon on their head in what seemed to be basically a fashion trend. The 80s was a rough decade for everyone, fashion-wise. The coke that got flushed down toilet has to end up somewhere. Free Willy from his coke addiction. Explains the floppy dorsal fin. And the busted blowhole. Okay, enough please stop. That's what the orca said. Liberate us, white gladys. It's honestly crazy how intelligent these creatures are. They are truly amazing. Trapped by their own biology, sadly. If only they had thumbs. They do have thumbs. They're you trapped in the big fins. That's just big fin propaganda. The ocean is angry nowadays. Jeez. Like an old man trying to return soup at a deli. Talk about a hole in one. Million to one shot, Doc. Fewer silly, Jerry. Because you're silly. I wonder if other countries will adopt similar laws to the Canadian marine wildlife ones, under the Canada Shipping Act. Basically it gives whales the right of way and makes you turn off equipment that could agitate them. When I was a kid you would always see orcas when taking the ferry through Active Pass and then for years. Now with the new laws they're back, every ferry trip I've taken in the last while has been slightly delayed due to whales and that's great. In this case, and in many of the others, the orcas appear suddenly. Most of the vessels targeted have been smaller yachts, they cannot easily or quickly move away from the whales. I hope they go after Jeff Bezos' yacht. This is gonna turn into a slew of real shitty movies. There was a movie called, Orca, where a killer whale stalked some humans. IIRC. The humans had killed his baby, or his baby and baby's mother, partner. Spouse? It was a pretty cool movie, but I saw it when I was a kid, so you know. I rooted for the killer whale. I watched the beginning of that movie as a kid, and that scene where the little embryo falls out of the cut open body of the mother still makes me sick 35 years later. I'll never be able to watch the whole movie. Hello, trauma mate. You just reset some synapses and I can't stop that scene playing in my head now. It was so sickening. Orcas are so interesting in their intelligence. They are like humans in that they can have learned behaviors and traits which entirely depend on their pod. Their mothers teach their offspring hunting techniques that other orcas in other pods have no idea how to perform. This yacht ramming activity is a learned trait that is likely only taught to orcas in one or two pods. I wonder what the orcas think they are getting out of it. Is it just fun for them? That's the only thing I can think of. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.